seven. But now we're going to be talking to, how do I even describe him? Surf enthusiast, it says on my runner, but he's so much more than that. Greg Burtish in 2016 sailed an eight foot children's optimist dinghy around the Cape of Storms. His 200 kilometer journey matched the 200 days he'd spent in hospital fighting life threatening heart infections as a result of an endocarditis diagnosis. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. But with this life-changing adventure, Greg founded the Little Optimist Foundation and penned a children's book about a little believer with a huge heart, hoping to teach kids that being small, sick, poor, or different is okay, and they can survive and thrive and get better and be better. Now, in line with his quest, the Little Optimist Foundation has partnered with Astra School in Montana in Cape Town, a school for 300 physically and mentally disabled learners between the ages of 5 and 18. It's in an urgent, urgent need of an upgrade and Greg's here this morning to tell us why. Greg, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Morning, Amy. Um, Thanks for having me. Hello, Cape Town. So, Greg, this Astra School project is just one of many that you're working on, but why don't you start by telling us about it? What, What is needed? What are you doing? What do the kids there need? Amy, it's a very special little school out on the Cape Flats. Um, It brings in uh, kids from all walks of life um, that have mental and physical uh, issues, let's say, and are disabled in many ways. Um, It's government funded. They're always looking for extra money. There's the bare minimum. There's some other fancier schools, the private sort of schools that are funded by big internationals in that area as well that are very well known. But this little school has the most amazing principal, Mrs. Mabota, who just lives, breathes, eats and sleeps helping these children. And they run a dormitory there as well um, that houses 45 kids. And these kids literally have been taken in by Astra and made this dormitory because they come from very, very uh, poor backgrounds um, from, from, you know, there's a lot of drug addiction, a lot of... um, abuse um, and and then a lot of poverty and these kids can't function at home with the disabilities they have so the schools offered them this dormitory and the dormitory is in a state and uh, we bring these kids in and we give them sailing therapy at our little academy in the waterfront and we've worked with them over a few years and done some inspiration days and these kids hearts have just touched myself and our team um, with how much passion and love they have and you know, they fight through anything with on their crutches in their wheelchairs. And it, it's incredibly tangible and real to me because we met a little boy four years ago called Terence. And Terence was nine years old and he had Duchenne's, he has Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, which is a degenerative disease. And unfortunately, Terence probably won't live that much longer. And the last time he walked was on a sailing day with us. And he's now there in a wheelchair. And... He can't wash himself. They can't wash him. He has got nowhere to sit to get washed. The taps don't work. Um, they're broken tiles. They can't get the wheelchair into the showers. And when we saw this, we just thought, you know, this kid's fighting and struggling for his life and he, the last of his five, ten years. And he's got to, you know, just to have the pleasure of a shower. He, he can't get it. And and that's why we just thought, you know what, we have to, we have to do something. So that's why I'm here. And uh, I wish people could see it because what these kids go through and then they carry on fighting and they get up the next day and they smile and they come sailing and they're just amazing. And uh, we realize how lucky, how incredibly lucky we are. So what we're doing is together with the Ital Ital Tile Foundation and Ital Tile, um, we've raised over 200,000 rand. We've been donated amazing tiles and and showers and... um, um, toilets and bathrooms from them, and and they put money towards it. We've raised a hundred thousand rand with that, that 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 both of them have put forward, and all the Ital Ital stores have come forward and donated bits and pieces. And all we need is sixty five thousand rand to start this project and finish it, to get these bathrooms and toilets done. Um, and we need that cash now to actually pay the contractors and get people in there to actually do the work. And we, we're really appealing on South Africa and, and people and anyone to just please go to our Backer Buddy page. We have partnered with Backer Buddy, Buddy and we're raising this money. We need the 65,000 Rand. We've got everything else ready. These kids are waiting. We can get them 
you know, we want to start before October and we want to finish, you know, in November so that they can look forward and, you know, have an amazing hot, warm shower and not have to be lifted out of wheelchairs or, or cut when, they, when they're getting lifted through the old metal that is there um, and, 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 you know, standing on broken tiles. And so we, that's what we want to do. And we really, really, really want to appeal to everyone to just jump in and, you know, 50 rand, 500 rand, a corporate, maybe more. Please, we need 65,000 rand. I think we've raised about 1,000 um, so far. But we, we are very optimistic and we do this often and we know that small small people can do huge things and we're a small little foundation and we're helping small little people but we know that with you know all of the people out there we can do huge things and really this is not a huge thing for us but it's huge for them greg if somebody listening is touched by your story and would like to contribute to your fundraising efforts what's the best way for them to go about doing so um, Amy, thanks. They, they can, they can go onto the Backer Buddy, um, platform, um, and they can just type in their Astra Special School Project okay. or Astra School Project and they, and we will come up. We're actually running on their, on their, on their home banner as well. And you'll see a beautiful little video there as well that the kids have sent as well, just showing their bathrooms and what they go through. And obviously you'll see, even though they, they don't even make it out to be that bad because they're just so full of love and hope and it's amazing. They're so thankful for what they've got, but, um, yeah, you'll see what 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 they what they what they've got to go through, and uh, so you can you can do that on the Backer Buddy page. Otherwise, just contact us at the Little Optimist Trust uh, dot org, and and we can point you in the right uh, direction. Greg, you're obviously very touched by this little boy, uh, Terence. You had tears in your eyes just now when you were talking about him. Um, he's obviously very special to you. How did you meet him and the other children at the Astra School? Amy, don't get me started again. <laughs> Terence is a, he's a he's a problem child for me because I I do this I get emotional every time I think of him. He was the smallest boy with the biggest heart, and I think that That's catalyzed so much for us. And you know we do, we have a sailing academy, a sailing therapy academy in Cape Town now. Four years after meeting him, and and he is the reason. He is the reason that boy had had not walked for three or four months. And he sat there and watched all other kids go sailing on that day at Milton Aquatic Club. And he couldn't do it. He he had to get out. And he got out of his wheelchair after three, four months. He hadn't walked. He got out of his wheelchair. And his parents started crying. Every adult on on that grass field started crying. And he walked his way down to the boat. And he got in the boat and he sailed and he got back out and he got back in again. He went four times. And after that, he got back sweating fighting he got back in his wheelchair and i'll never forget the words he said now i'm done Mm. and he's never walked again and even his mother said they've still got a photograph of him beaming in that little boat and that is the last time that he ever walked and they've got it on on their mantelpiece and now all we want to do, we've had him back sailing at our sailing, th- at our sailing uh, therapy academy and he's been sailing and the smile is just as big. He hasn't walked since, but we get him out of his wheelchair into the little Optimus boats and we take him sailing. And he's still got the hugest heart and he's still my hero. And you know that's why we are going to make and build these bathrooms and toilets for them and eventually finish off their whole dormitory and beautify it and make it an amazing place full of hope and love. Amazing. Greg, let's talk a little bit about your Sailing Academy. I've witnessed firsthand how incredible you are when you work with those children. You just, something in you just completely comes to life and you, you just radiate joy and enthusiasm. And really, it is truly remarkable. Why sailing, though? Why is sailing your way to speak to these children? Um, it's just something so unique and beautiful and natural. Um, and it and it gives kids an experience. The kids we work with would never have had this experience. So it's something totally unique. It's it's it gets them into into nature and it connects them with the environment. And a lot of these kids, when they arrive at our little academy, they don't even know what a life jacket is. Mm. They've never been on a boat. Many of them can't swim. And we get them out onto these little boats, and they they literally become. Captains of their own little boat and captain of their of their destiny. They see like a bigger picture. They suddenly are able to thrive and 
you know, I often think about my first time I got my own bike and I was allowed to ride a little bicycle and ride off when you were a kid into the neighborhood and, and you feel that freedom. And that's what these kids, you know, we take them from these very disadvantaged communities straight out of hospitals sometimes, out of orphanages, out of kids' homes, abuse, uh, 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 that, uh, homes that look after abuse of kids and orphans. And they come from these communities, you know, where, with, in the ganglands, um, where they have nothing to live for and, and no passion, no desire to, to carry on. And, and that's what we give them. Even if it's that one day experience, it's something that blows their little minds and that they arrive there scared and nervous to even get into a boat or go in the water. And by the end of the day, they don't even want to get out of that boat. And all they want to do is stay in that boat and play and steer their boat and, and be their own captain. And you can see the, like from camaraderie to the, the, the self-confidence and self-achievement that they've, 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 they've got out of it over the, over that day. And, you know, mentally and the mental health side of things is just phenomenal. And there are studies all over the world, whether it's in surf therapy, in sailing therapy, um, anything connects you with, with, with the water and with the ocean and the wind. It's amazing. And at the same time, we're teaching them a little bit about uh, water safety as well. So we, we teach them the basics of, of, of drowning prevention. We, we introduce ocean health to them. We use the growth mindset to, to, to inject positivity and optimism into them. They go to the aquarium, they get food, they, they get little medals and toys and fluffy toys at the end of the day. They get a certificate that says that they can now sail and they're captains and they go off. And then we've got this pro- next, another program that we bring them, that we hope to bring them back on. And then they come on, come on another program and actually learn to properly sail and get a proper little skipper's ticket. And then there's a whole, Trajectory and a whole path we want to li- link them to, to, to further courses where they can actually go on one day and do a crewman's course and get sponsored to do a crewman's course and go overseas and work on boats and support their families in dollars or, or euros. We've got about three minutes left with Greg Burtish. If you'd like to chat to him or you've got a message or a comment for him, you can send it to us now, 0214460567 or 0725671567. In your sailing academy, Greg, do you only work with vulnerable and underprivileged children or do you run private sailing classes as well? Um, we've just started and we're just opening up for, for private classes as well. So every, every group and every kid that comes in that, that, are, that is charged now will, will sponsor a kid or a group that, that, that can't afford it. And that's our model. So yes, we, we, we're doing uh, little kids parties, little birthday parties, the most amazing birthday party. You learn to sail, bring your 10, 20 friends, come and learn to sail in the VNA waterfront. It's very safe. It's in the canals. So there's nowhere else in the world almost that you can learn to sail and actually sail in within the day, within a morning. And this is what we offer. And then corporates, the biggest fun and the best team building ever. Adults in little children's boats, working as a team, um, doing, doing relays and having an absolute jewel, um, all in the name of, um, uh, corporate and team building. It's, it's amazing. Your next Christmas party, maybe. And then, yes, we're offering them to schools, school outings where they actually learn something as well. They learn a skill. They learn to sail. They learn about the ocean. They learn uh, about water safety. And it's an amazing school outing. And we've had one or two schools visit us as well. And then sponsor a school that doesn't have the means, which is amazing to give back. That's awesome. We're almost out of time, Greg. We've got to go to the news. So before we let you go, just remind our listeners if they'd like to contribute to your fundraising campaign, how they can do so or how they can get in touch with you if they want to book a sailing lesson. Cool. Well, please help Terence and the Astra School, um, Backer Buddy, um, Astra Special School. Um, just look for it there, project um, on Backer Buddy or contact us at the Little Optimist Trust. Um, .org. Otherwise, come down and visit us um, at the Sailing Academy. We're not open every day, but we are there to for bookings for private functions, and you can find that on, on the Internet as well. It's called um, www.optimistsailingacademy.org. And uh, come and see what we do. Sponsor a child, sponsor a group of children to come on one of our Sailing Through Life programs. Thank you so much. Thanks, Greg. Such a worthy cause. If you are able to spare a few rands, please go over to that Backer Buddy site and tr- contribute. Those children of the Astra School in Montana need it so very badly. I would encourage you to, na- to donate if you are able.